Okay, welcome back to Mr. Turner's art class. I have a new, a new project for you. Um, since it's December, I am probably going to be talking to you a lot about ancient Rome and things of that nature because, uh, because you know, when it comes to ancient, uh, ancient Rome, uh, a lot of that leads up into, you know, the things about stories about Christ, all that kind of stuff, and uh, Christian art or Renaissance art, things of the, uh, things of that nature. So. I kind of, I think it just kind of fits for being that it's December and we're really close to Christmas. Now, anyway, what I have here, what does this have to, uh, Angry Birds have to do with uh, uh, ancient Rome? Well, we're going to do what is called simulated uh, stained glass. And you're probably asking, what is stained glass? Make a long story short, if you have gone to church, which I hope you all do, but if you've gone to church, and the little bright colored multicolored glass uh, that's usually like like up you know pretty high or whatever that you see you know that you see everywhere or it may have little pretty designs in it that's stained glass okay that came about from ancient Rome actually it came from Kemet okay it came from uh, the northern part of ancient uh, ancient Africa uh, what you would probably call Egypt what we call Egypt today back in ancient Kemet they made stained glass uh, a colorful glass um, the, the Romans ancient Romans we're talking about when like Jesus was walking the earth and all that uh, back in those time periods uh, the Romans learned from the Egyptians how to make stained glass and then they started making it for themselves so stained glass was like I said it's a very colorful glass that um, they used on their windows only the rich people could afford it you know because it was I mean, it was very uh, pretty. It was uh, labor intensive to create it, you know. So, of course, you would have to pay artists a lot of money to make stained glass. Actually, you have to do that today. So, but you're not going to make a very expensive stained glass. Like I said, you're going to make simulated stained glass. So, how are you going to do that? Okay, so what I have here, okay, is a is a picture of an ang one of the uh, angry birds. And what I have is an arch, an arch window. So, Basically, you're going to take a sheet of notebook paper and you're going to draw out, okay, whatever the image. Now, this will be something more or less for my younger students. Something like this, these praying hands. Yes, so this will be for my middle school kids. I will touch on this later because this is from a very famous artist, uh, Albert Durr, and a uh, very good printmaker, illustrator. Uh, and I will be t talking to y'all about how to draw hands and stuff like that, but we're not going to do this because this is complicated. But I'm just letting you know. But back to my younger students. Okay. Back to the Angry Birds. You're going to draw a picture. First, you're going to draw an arch window. Okay, so just make a arch, literally a arch looking window that you would have in a church. Once you do that, you're going to draw an image in the middle some kind of cartoon character it could be Angry Birds if you want to but to be honest with you anything will do usually like uh, think about what you've seen you know you could be it could be images of animals it could be an uh, image of a cross it could be an image of you know something religious I mean it just depends it depends on what you want to do now once you have your your arch window and you have your drawing you're going to take some aluminum foil and put it on the ground that's what this is laying on top of aluminum foil now once you have your aluminum foil you're going to trace you're going to go back over it and you're going to trace it. Just go back over it. When you get done tracing your image on the aluminum foil, take it up. Now, as you can see, there is an outline of what you just got through tracing. I am going to trace it again. Now, stained glass has kind of like a grout. If you notice it, it's like a black image. Uh, a black substance that is connecting all of the glass. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black Sharpie and I am going to go back and I am going to trace my image. It should be easy to do. That's why I had you draw back on the aluminum foil. So the image is on the aluminum foil. That's all I'm doing. All I'm doing is going right back over my foil and tracing what I have already drawn. And again, this could be anything you wish. 
Mustang Glass is known for religious work, but it doesn't have to be religious. For those of y'all that do not uh, pr practice a religion or you practice a different uh, religion other than Christianity or some or another, like I said, you can make stained glass out. Uh, the design could be anything. Because it's going to be your stained glass. And you see how fast I am just going through. All I'm doing is just tracing the lines I just made. Put some clouds down here. Whoop. Try to be careful. I just not realized I touched uh, touched those in my hand because it's on aluminum foil. It's gonna be kind of uh, it's gonna be wet. So be very careful of that. So you don't have any smearing. Put the little sun rays behind it. And I'm going to go back through. And make my arch. There we go. Okay, so... As you can see, I have my arch and I have my design. Okay, now, stained glass is very colorful. You will need, you will need some paints for this. Okay, now, I don't care where you get it from. Truthfully, they usually sell these things at the dollar store and stuff like that, but I got these from Walmart. I think I paid less than $3 for, the, uh, for those, so. That's what I have. That is what I'm going to use. So I am going to open these things up. You don't have to use very expensive paint. Just go get some tempera paint or whatever you, whatever you have. If for whatever reason you don't even have that. Okay, if you don't have any paint, you can't get a hold of paint. Do this on a sheet of paper. Since you already have a sheet of paper, because all I did was use copier paper for this. If it comes down to it, just use copier paper. But if you want your stained glass to look right, if you want to follow along with this project, go get some paint. Now, this thing is not going to be just totally uh, covered with you know with the paint you want to try to stay inside the lines and everything and yes some of the silver uh, the I mean excuse me the aluminum is going to show through and that's fine that's kind of what you want because it's supposed to be simulated stained glass so you you want uh, the silver to kind of show through so this is why it's going to shine when we put it someplace when we're done and let light hit it which is what you want to give that effect because that's what makes stained glass beautiful is when light hits it and it makes a room just glow and that was the whole point stained glass in ancient Rome in uh, their churches in uh, the Roman cathedrals or the basilica you know those are, that's the type of church when uh, they didn't have natural lights they didn't have light bulbs at this time remember we're talking about ancient times so they use natural lighting so when the sun would come up while the people were having church the sun would hit the glass and the sun would light up the the room the dark room that everybody was in praying and it would give a heavenly effect you know everybody would feel like they're in heaven and that was the point that was the the, the point that the artist was trying to uh, trying to create the mood you know there you go we got we got part of that done let's see I'm gonna give my underbelly here let's do that let's 
so yeah, need a need a brush. So as you can see, this is not hard, and it shouldn't be. And probably on camera, you see how it's supposed to be shining. So yes, it's not going to be all the way colored in. And again, that is the point. You want the silver to be showing, showing through. That's what's going to make it look like, like I said, like simulated glass. And go ahead and try to get his beak in there. I don't know. I'm just going to give him a yellow beak. I can't remember if that's what the color it was, but that's what it's going to be here. And try to stay inside the lines. Because you want the black to show. Like I said, stained glass is supposed to have a look like it's uh, bordered glass that's sectioned off. I'm going to put some white in here. So the next time y'all go to a church, you can just look up, look up and notice what kind of stained glass they have in the church. Because that's what it's there for. I'm going to go ahead and shade that in just a little bit. So there we go. We got my anger, anger bird coming uh, coming through now. So y'all can um, see that. Let me see. Give him a, I guess he has a red tongue, I think. Give him some red. Give him some black. So this is a really simple project. Okay, y'all can see where I'm going with this. get some white in there he needs some uh he got some white clouds here so gonna paint this up you can paint as long as I have you get to a point where you can hold a million brushes in your hand and still get stuff done so there we go we're gonna and like I said I want that silver to kind of halfway show through so don't worry that you're not supposed to have it where it's all solid. You want silver to show uh, show through this because we want it to shine when we have light hits it. And it, sh it looks like it's shining uh, on the camera, so that means we are doing our jobs. Need some blue now. So it's going to do some blue uh, blue skies. So, you're going to do like that. So, I mean, have fun with this. I mean, you can uh, paint these. You can put any image in there. You know, like I said, it could be as simple as a cross. They do use words. You know, um, usually if you see stained glass, it could be a picture of G uh, Jesus. It could be, you know, pit, uh, birds. It could be animals. It could be, uh, like I said, praying hands. It could. Uh, it doesn't even have to be religious. Sometimes it's just geometric shapes. You know, it was just stuff that people like, you know, in general, you know, was, like I said, if you was in ancient times and you just had money like that and you just want to, hey, hey, I think I got the money that I want glass in my apartment. And yes, they did have apartments back then. Uh, they were called flats, but they were apartments technically. And they'd be like, OK, I got money and I want glass, you know. Because I don't want to just use sheets to keep the cold out. So let me just put some glass up here. Let me put some stained glass. So what do I want on my stained glass? If the person, I don't know, they like lions and tigers and bears. That's what they would probably put on their stained glass. You know, so. It doesn't have to be religious. It, stained glass could be anything. It's what you want it to be. But I will say I want a cartoon character or an animal or something in the middle of your stained glass and you will section it off 
section off the pieces. Or you can just do this right here. You can just make an Angry Bird. You can put some other Angry Birds on here. And just have fun with it. You know, don't make this harder than what it what it is because it's not hard. It's supposed to be fun. And when you're done, you can hang this up and it will shine, especially when light hits it. Some of my older kids, you might want to do uh, do a uh, Angry Birds too. That's okay if you want to. I mean, you can do a cartoon character. I mean, make it fun. You can sit here and do a. Uh, anime characters if you wish you give me a uh, animated angel an anime angel or something like that so put the sun in here too and add some more color to it but I want to just demonstrate and just be sure y'all get the point Let's see what we let's see what we got because I do believe this thing is shining. So oh look look at there look at there look at there. Okay, so like I said, the more you have light hitting it, I'm using my flat uh, my my cell phone right there. So there you go. You know you got your stain your stained glass and you can hang this up, hang it someplace where the sunlight is going to hit it or you have a, a bright light and. Uh, you have your simulated stained glass so once you're done with this I just want you to go ahead and take a picture of it and submit it to me and you know you'll get your grade and just have fun doing it and uh, you know at least now you understand what this is stained glass is just very colorful glass that's sectioned off you know and you can usually find it in uh, places like a church or uh, old, very old buildings and stuff like that. So just kind of keep your eyes open for st uh, stained glass, you know, because it is very beautiful. It is a work of art, you know, it's, uh, very difficult to make for real, you know, very expensive. But I hope you enjoy this uh, this project, and you know, just just have fun. And I will see you next time. Peace.